Hey adventurers, um, today I just wanted to show you a little tool that I use for uh, bleeding brakes. I don't know if you've used one before, but they're freaking amazing. Um, yes, I want to just bleed the front brakes. I've just changed the pads. I'll show you that here. Uh, so to change the brake pads, uh, all we have to do is pull out these two pins, which have a little tiny circlip in here, which uh, let's see if we can see it. See that little pin there? Uh, okay, so that's upside down. So you can see that little pin there. That's all we need. The only tool we need is a pair of needle nose pliers. We can rotate this around until we see the head of that pin. You might see the head first off anyway. Uh, and then we just pull this out, which is the little... Um, what do you call those clips? One of those. Um, and yeah, there's a little hole in the pin, which you can see just, just there. And then uh, this pin just pulls out. Doesn't get any easier than that, right? Do the same with the top. Uh, a bit harder to see the pin there. There it is. Don't lose them, they're very small. <laughs> Pull this one out. And then this is just a little um, metal cover plate. So that comes off, but you can see that it's got these loops at either end. So you have to put that in before you put the pins back in. Uh, and then your brake pads just slide out. So um, it's actually still a fair bit on them. I won't <laughs> throw them away, but I'm I'm putting new ones on. Um, yeah, pull both of them out. Now what you are going to want to do is because the new pads are going to have a thicker base material. Um, here's my new ones here. Uh, they got a thicker base material, so we need to push these pads back. And you can't just push these pistons individually because they're all joined up into one circuit. So if you push one in, the other one will come out, <laughs> right? And you'll just be going, uh, 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 uh. So you need to push them both back in at the same time. Um, in fact, you probably need to push all four at the same time. So I'll just do that. And... Okay, so there's the uh, four little pistons. Your bike might have two or one each side, or it might only have one piston and the other side um, is just solid and it this side, whole side slides. There's multiple different versions. Um, but yes, now we can just slide in our new brake pads. Some of them you'll have, to, the, the brake pads might only come out through the front too. So, you know, you just uh, work out what you've got. Not a hard job, pretty easy for pretty much anyone. You should be able to do this anyway. It's I think it's yeah, part of regular maintenance. And then Put on this little uh, plate here. Put our pin through the side. And can I do this with one hand? Yes. <laughs> okay, so that one's all the way in. And uh, I, if I can do this with one hand, you can do it with two. Uh, so yeah, so now that these are all the way in, what we've got to do is find that little hole that we saw earlier. And get our little pin. Poke it in, make sure it goes in as far as it's going to go. So usually there's, um, yeah, there's two bumps on these things. So um, you want to make sure that it's gone right to the second bump. Now this one, I may or may not be able to do with the camera. Okay, got that pin in. 
uh, and that's it. It's all quite loose. Okay, now let's uh, bleed the brakes. Yeah, so you grab your little uh, T20, undo these. Clearly, I just cracked them with the uh, socket. So yeah, brake fluid, not very nice stuff, so uh, try not to get it everywhere. Okay, so there's my lids off and uh, my fluid's in there. It's sort of, it's right on the maximum line mark, so it's okay. Um, it's, looks a bit murky, doesn't it? Let's uh, get rid of this stuff at the top. So this is the little um, one here. It's a vacuum brake bleeder. I don't know if you've used one of these before, but all it does is create a vacuum and uh, sucks fluid into here. I'll set it up and show you. Yeah, so we can use this just to uh, empty out this container. We don't suck in too much crap all the way through the system. residue in there I'm just gonna clean out yeah it's a bit like a big weekend after being on the piss um, okay yeah, now I just want to start pouring my new fluid in here fill it right up and then I'll show you what I'm doing at the bottom so then down here, we just want to set this up somewhere. I think it should be higher than your um, uh, bleeding nipple. And then, yeah, you get the, oh, tripping brake fluid. Um, get the nipple, you put this little rubber hose on. Yeah, so you want to get this thing going. Press the button in if you're by yourself. And you start sucking fluid through, all the crappy fluid. And then we want to come up here and just keep topping this up. You can see that's uh, going down. It's a bit noisy. Yeah, so you just have this crack until you see the new fluid coming through. And then seal it off. There's, it sucks air through the rubber fitting, so these are not air bubbles coming out of the out of the fluid. Um, and then once you see the new fluid, you go around and you do the other side. nice and clear so uh, I think we're good to go after a bit it's looking better now yeah. so cap back on uh, pull the lever and <laughs> feels good see how it goes on the road uh, sometime soon tomorrow maybe yeah and then when you're finished um, this is you know like like a paint tin so you gotta rinse this rinse this out and you get your old fluid and you put it in your favorite jar ready to sell at the local market or whatever <laughs> whatever you want to do no keep it somewhere safe because it's horrible and yeah so i just thought i'd uh, show you that because uh it makes bleeding brakes uh, and clutches and anything on any vehicle um, a hell of a lot more easy. Uh, it is a vacuum brake bleeder. Worth investing in, I think. See ya.